I'm actually in total disbelief right now. Fourth gear. Good thing we chose a vet. Oh, wall tap, wall graze. Yes, let's go. That was sick. Hello, everybody. I'm Evil Rabbit. We're here on a set of Corsa to try something totally different. So something over the weekend happened that basically broke one of my toes on my left foot. So I can't really use clutch or left foot brake right now. So why not try and drift with one foot? Just using throttle, brake, a little bit of handbrake, and auto clutch. So make sure you follow me on all social media, all the follow in the description box below. Let's try. So we do have auto clutch engaged, so we can go into gear, and it does kind of mimic the clutch. And if we hold handbrake for a long period of time, it does engage the clutch. So that's a ball in our court. And as long as we're off throttle when we shift, it usually works. So we're gonna be using one foot for everything. I figured bring out a V8 car. We have power on command. And see if we can't do this and kind of just utilize throttle control. A little bit of handbrake and some normal braking and see if we can't get a good lap going and we're not doing too bad I thought we were gonna be way worse than this oh that force feedback is really strong on this car for some reason do I have it turned up I'm wondering if I have it turned up past 100 oh let's find out do I have it turned up past 100 no it's at 100 we're just gonna dial that back probably to 80 for right now just because uh, it's a little bit over uh, over rotation. Don't break the trans. Off throttle shifting is what we need. So this is definitely something a little different since I can't really use my uh, left foot right now because of, well, stupidity. But that's dirt. Dirt's not gonna help. Let's get the wheel spinning coming out. So try and run this basically just using throttle some brake no clutch kicks kind of using the weight of the car it's kind of really good practice for throttle control and I'm quite Oh, impressed with how that's actually working right now. We really need to fix the flame on this vet. <laughs> so we can get this right. We got it. I think we're good. I kind of, I think I'm cheating by using a V8 car because I don't have to worry about, you know, keeping it in boost. If I had a turbo car, I'd probably be a lot, struggling a lot more. But I'm actually, you know, quite impressed that I can kind of modulate this car. That auto clutch is actually working quite well. So if you have a two pedal setup and you want to run auto clutch. A set of courses auto clutch uh, works quite well. Try a bigger entry. Um, I'll take it. Apparently, you don't need to use a clutch. It helps, but it is clutching in. And then when I'm getting off. The thro uh, off the handbrake, it's kind of acting almost like a clutch kick. So it's kind of saving us in the long run. I'm actually uh, quite impressed with how this is working. Now, do I think we could run a comp track this way? Probably not, because we would definitely need to use left foot brake and stuff. Ooh! Don't, don't break a finger, too. We, we definitely need to use a left foot brake and stuff like that in a competition track or for tandem for sure. But 
kind of just chucking the car it actually works this car uh i feel like is a cheat code this this vet is an extremely powerful and good handling car so definitely a different challenge today trying to do this and actually thoroughly impressed with like i said how the fact that it is working the way it is so if you guys want to see other weird challenges like this, let me know down in the comment section down below. Um, I'm very interested to try some other different challenges and stuff like that. I think we need to change up tracks. So let's go change up tracks. I don't think we're going to be able to do it as well here. On a mountain toge road. But we're surely going to try. Oh, let's see how this is going to be different. So that auto downshift blip that Moza has implemented in to the Moza shifter is definitely going to aid me in this. Notice how it just downshifted there. And we're not dead yet. I really wish I could be left foot braking though. To hold my lines. Oh, little wall tap. Oh, I don't know where to make that turn. We did. I'm actually shocked. Oh, I'm I'm utilizing the handbrake more than I should be, but I'm using it to kind of get that auto clutch to engage. So don't uh don't thrash me too much in the comments about it. I mean, we can kind of drift a toge road with one foot. It may not be the cleanest or the smoothest or the best, like, chaseable, but, uh, I mean, we're able to do it. Yeah, that whole auto clutch thing is working miracles. And the auto blip. Oh, that's a wall. And the auto blip from my Moza shifter is actually uh the auto downshift uh, downshift blip is uh helping quite nice also. So if you don't have three pedals, you don't need a you don't even really need two feet. You can kind of do it with one foot. And we are just driving quite well. So, like I said, if you guys want to see other weird challenges like this, let me know down in the comment section. This is kind of just a challenge that I kind of had to do. Like I said, with having basically a broken toe on my left foot, it's kind of hard to put any pressure on the foot, so I can't use, use it too well. But we got this. Oh man, I'm totally, uh, oh, it didn't want to shift there. I'm actually in total disbelief right now. Fourth gear. Good thing we chose a vet. Oh, wall tap, wall graze. Yes, let's go. That was sick. So I think that'll about do it here for this episode here on a set of Corsa. A little bit of a uh, one foot drive. Unintentional. That's, uh, that was sick. So as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track. Oh, how did we that? I have no idea how we made that. What? You know we gotta finish these hairpins.
Oh, there it was. <laughs> oh, that's too fun.